A shooting star is not a star, is not a star at all. A shooting star is a meteor that's heading for a fall. A shooting star is not a star, why does it shine so bright? The friction as it falls through air produces heat and light. Hi everybody, I'm Ruben Garcia from MrMeteorite.net. So you want to be a meteorite hunter, do you? Well, you're in luck. Today we're going to take a look at what makes professional meteorite hunters so successful. So stick around, we're going to have some fun. Let's try to understand how they use their tools. A meteorite cane is nothing more than a strong magnet attached to a long pole. Pretty simple, really, but it sure saves your back when picking up prospective meteorites like this one. What type of metal detector to use? I like to use either a Fisher Goldbug 2, like the one in this photo, or any White's Gold Master machine. Just be sure your machine is set to manual ground balance and not to auto. That is, if it gives you the option. This is because an automatic ground balance machine will automatically balance out low iron targets, meaning small meteorites. Learning what a meteorite sounds like. Here are our three stones that we picked up with our meteorite cane. Let's swing over each one and see what they sound like. Wow, nice zip zip sound over the known meteorite. Listen how the hot rock or hematite sounds different. Nice, the slag sounds good too. So what have we learned so far? Well, first of all, we've learned that the magnet on top of your meteorite cane will stick to a lot of things, not just meteorites. We've also learned that a metal detector will sound off on lots of things, not just meteorites. So what does that tell us? Well, that tells us that professional meteorite hunters learn to ID a meteorite visually. And what that means is they do their homework. They know what a meteorite looks like in the field. Now, how do professional meteorite hunters get that knowledge? Simple. Same way you can do it. We went to the library and we checked out books. Oh, Richard Norton's Rock from Space? That's a great book. We looked online. How about pictures, videos, TV shows? We do our research. We know what a meteorite looks like. You can do it too. Once you have a good idea of what a meteorite looks like, you can go out into the field. And then you won't be spooked by everything that sticks to your magnet or everything that sounds off on your detector. You can look at it. You can ID it and leave it or take it home. The friction as it falls through air produces heat and light. A shooting star or meteor, whichever name you like. The minute it comes down to earth, it's called a meteorite. A shooting star is not a star, is not a star at all. A shooting star is a meteor. A shooting star is a meteor. A shooting star is not a star. Why does it shine so bright? The friction as it falls through air the friction as it falls through air produces heat and light. A shooting star or meteor, whichever name you like. The minute it comes down to earth, it's called a meteor. Comes down to earth, it's called a meteorite. What is the difference between a meteoroid, a meteor, and a meteorite? A meteoroid is a rock that has drifted in space since the formation of the solar system. This ancient rock has an unusual orbit which is changed each time the rock gets close to the gravity of a planet or of the Sun. When the meteoroid gets too close to a planet, the planet's gravity captures the meteoroid and the rock falls into the atmosphere of the planet. When the meteoroid starts to burn, it is a meteor. You can see that this meteor or shooting star is burning as it falls through our atmosphere. 
A meteorite is a meteor that has reached the earth without being completely consumed or burned. This meteorite has enough metal to ring like a bell.